Cornhusker Nation, Nebraska football, this is awful. Tight end Thomas Fedoni has now been ruled out for the remainder of this spring and will no longer participate in practices, and we will not see him play in the upcoming spring game that is right around the corner. Last season, Fedoni played in one game against Wisconsin, but battled injuries all season. Hence why we haven't seen much of him at all. Keep in mind, this guy was a number one tight end in the nation coming out of Lewis Central, the powerhouse from Council Bluffs, Iowa. Nebraska's got this guy listed at 6'6", 235, and to me, he looks like he could go play in the NFL right now as a tight end. The only issue is we can't seem to get this guy healthy and out on the field. Okay, we've barely even seen him last year in 2021. We won't be able to see him now in the spring game. And Frost has done a good job in this offseason keeping the injuries kind of low-key. I don't blame him. There are no specifics to Fedoni's injury yet. At least I haven't heard any. So I can't give you guys a time frame yet on how long he's going to be injured and how long this recovery process is going to take. Okay, if it's something like an ACL, unfortunately, he probably won't even play this fall. Maybe if it's something more like a shoulder or a hand, it's only a couple months. You know, he rehabs and he's back this summer lifting and going to be ready for the fall. But as of right now, on March 31st, 2022, I really don't know what exactly the injury is. And I'm wishing Fedoni nothing but the best in his recovery because this is a guy that could potentially be a Big Ten tight end of the year, first team All-American, Okay, look at his accolades coming out of high school. Look at his intangibles. And just look at the overall size of this guy. He's an absolute beauty at all aspects of the game. And Nebraska needs to figure out a way to get this guy healthy. He was previously out of high school, committed to Iowa, and then decommitted to Nebraska. So I know a lot of Iowa fans are probably salty with this guy. But he is loved in Nebraska, and we can't wait to see him out there on Saturdays at Memorial. I don't know if it's going to happen this year, though, because of this injury, and Frost really hasn't given us fans much to go off of. So I want to know in the comments below, what have you guys heard about this injury? Is Fedoni going to be able to play this fall? What's going to happen with this situation? And if it is an injury like an ACL, who do we have as another option at tight end. We have a lot of good wide receivers, but what other tight ends do we have? I wanna know what you guys think about our other options at tight end. Do we have any depth? Let me know if you guys like any current tight ends at Nebraska in the comments below. I'll make a follow-up video once I hear about the diagnosis of the actual injury, if he's gonna need surgery, or whatever's gonna come from this, all right? I'm also gonna be covering the spring game that's coming up soon, And before that game, I'll make a video on the O-line. I think Thomas Fedoni could be an absolute beauty for this program once he gets healthy because he's got everything you want in a tight end. This guy is special. But guys, thanks again for tuning in. And until next video, I'm out. Cornhusker Nation, Nebraska football, you guys are the best fans in the country.